I just wanted a quick demo of my home sear HS touch install, so here it is. The lights. Simple on-off control for lighting, the kitchen. Dimmers over on the right here. Say so we want to pull the dimmer down. It dims. Single touch for off. So you do all on. You see all the lights of the house slowly turn on. And do all off. They all process off, except for the cabinets there. These cabinets stay on pretty much 24-7, but you do have control of those also. Uh, beyond that, we also have control of colors. So we want to do different color. Some RGB color control. Go back to white. And then uh, down here is fireplace control. So we've got a little electronic fireplace that sits under the TV. Uh, that's controlled through infrared. We want to fire that guy up. And there it is. And we also have, of course, uh, color control on that also, so we can toggle through some colors on it. There you go, real quick. There you go. Let's toggle through some colors. I'm going to shut that back off. This is lighting control. There's also a couple fans, bath fan, bedroom fan. Uh, for advanced cabinet control, we can open up the web version uh, where you can then choose modes and things for uh, lighting on the cabinets. Um, most of them, that just stays white though. Let's go back home. Here we can do, see locks. So you've got uh, two deadbolts, two garage doors, and a couple motions. Um, front door's currently unlocked since the orange. We're going to go ahead and throw a lock command at that. We hit the front door over there, lock up. Uh, and then garage doors are both currently closed. I'll go ahead and tell it to open the main garage door. There goes the main garage door opening. It takes 10 or 15 seconds. And then that status should flip to open as the garage opens all the way. There it is open. So go ahead and process the close on it. All right, uh, shades. We've got a couple of motorized shades throughout the house. This window being one of them right here. Uh, and then the two in the back there. Uh, the lower portion of the shades button closes it, the upper portion raises it. So, there go the shades. Go back here, we uh, tell it stop. It's going to start going up for us. And the shades go up. Thermostat, it's a Nest thermostat. Uh, you can go ahead and set, it's currently in the away mode. I'm going to go home so I can adjust the temperature. You can see the temperature turned back to Temp. And then also we've got a little forecast here for the day. It's currently snowing like crazy in Michigan. Uh, and then if you want to open the Nest app, you can hit the Nest button there. Uh, let's look at TV. So we've got two TVs controlled. This is all into it through Harmony. We'll just go ahead and power on the living room TV. That takes a second to turn on. You see it coming on. All my media is done through NVIDIA Shield. So you have some real rudimentary controls of the shield here. We don't use it a lot uh, for controlling TV, mainly just turning it on and off uh, as you're walking out the door or whatever. Uh, it's also built in a bunch of automation routines, but you can see it knows what pro, what input the shield is on or what input the TV is on and TV is still turning on. Takes a while to do the handshake and there's the TV on. So let's go ahead and power that guy off. And then we'll go back home. Music. This took the longest. This is uh, quite a large Sono system. Um, there's unfortunately no way to browse music in this. I can play favorites in each zone here, uh, and then control volume, of course. So let's just go ahead and play uh, a favorite track here. It's gonna go ahead and go as it shuffles my Discover Weekly playlist. You can now hear that playing in the kitchen. Coming out of the speakers up here. Uh, and then if we wanted to group more zones, that's all color coded. So if I also wanted this to come out of the record player, I could get this little green button here and that's gonna change to orange to, to show that it's currently grouped to the, uh, to the kitchen. So if we come in here, we turn that up, you can now hear it coming out of the record console over here. And if we go back to kitchen, and check, uncheck this guy, 
it's gonna ungroup the record player and uh, show it, and then it goes back to just being just the kitchen into that zone. So if I wanted to hit them all up, literally click those through and they'll come over. And now this is all explained throughout the entire house. Same process, on, on check the ones I don't want. That's the record there. There you go, now it's just back in the kitchen. So this is playing my Discoverits. This would be my favorites playlist here. Uh, just shuffles favorites, uh, top 100. Uh, record inputs, we're playing the record, we can push it throughout the house. And then um, a TV input there for TV audio. For music browsing, really need these a Sonos app, so you can go ahead and open the Sonos app right there. And we'll go ahead and pause the music. Go back home. Camera setup, this is all done through Blue Iris. Uh, the, you can see the front doorbell camera right here right now. Uh, we can also view the rear. Uh, let's go to the full front, so there's the front driveway, nursery, and garage. Uh, and then if I want to open the Blue Iris app, I can click this button right here and view the app so I can view uh, recorded video. You can see a car coming in right there on the next door neighbors. So uh, one thing this also does is if there is motion on the front display, on the front doorbell, it's going to auto change the display to the doorbell. So if somebody comes up, uh, I can see them come up to the doorbell uh, from the tablet in the bedroom, per se, if we can't see the door. It's really nice. Uh, next would be sprinklers. This is just a super simple sprinkler control uh, for turning on and off zones. The, the uh, sliders here on the right adjust the amount of time if you want to manually turn on a zone. The higher up you pull that, the farther, the longer they'll run. You can see the last time my sprinklers ran were uh, in, what was that, July or August there? Uh, August because of uh, the weather. Don't need uh, don't even run during the winter. And then of course this would open the open sprinkler app uh, and then go back home. So that's my uh, HS Touch install for home sear uh, for my house. If you guys have any questions, let me know.